Tonight we are learning what took place shortly before a UCSB student was killed by a massive shark near Santa Barbara this morning. 10 News reporter Preston Phillips joins us now with what the 19 year old told his mom right before his death. Preston. Well, this is what's left of Lucas Ransom's boogie board after a shark took a 13 inch chunk out of it, severing Ransom's leg. Shortly before Ransom entered the water, he talked with his mom over the phone one last time, telling her how awesome the waves were. Tonight, those who knew Lucas Ransom are posting all over Facebook. Ransom's friend Bart Kelly posted this, a character fun, loving, kind, intelligent. He was a great person, but even more, he was an amazing friend. The 19-year-old UC Santa Barbara student was on this boogie board about 100 yards off of Surf Beach near Santa Barbara when a shark similar to this one came up from below, chomped down on his board, and bit off his left leg at his pelvis. What the uh, Sheriff's Department office reported from eyewitness reports was uh, uh, a shark approximately 14 to 18 uh, feet in length. Ransom's buddy who was surfing near him says Ransom cried out, help me dude, just before he was pulled under and the water turned red. That same friend then swam Ransom into shore, but by the time he made it in, Ransom's body was limp. These warning signs are now planted in the sand to remind swimmers of a 72-hour beach closure now in effect. White sharks, they're not out to attack humans. That they don't, they don't, they don't attack, or they don't eat us. And it was a mistake. Gravetto says the shark that attacked Ransom probably thought he was a seal. He also says when great whites go after large mammals that can fight back or swim away, they'll usually try to maim them first. It's basically it's the the, the effort to to take off a, a limb, let it bleed out, and then come back and finish it off. Before today, the last known fatal great white shark attack occurred off of Solana Beach in 2008. You can see a lifeguard trying to revive 66-year-old Dave Martin, a San Diego triathlete who died after he was bitten across both thighs while swimming about 150 yards out. And Ransom was a star swimmer and former lifeguard from Romo Land near Paris Valley in Riverside County. In 2007, he and two other lifeguards were honored by the city of Murrieta for pulling a young boy out of the community pool who nearly drowned in the water. Ransom was praised for performing CPR. He was currently a junior at UCSB where he was majoring in chemical engineering. Preston Phillips, 10 News.